It all began when I was born a month too soon. My mom was frightened by a runaway saloon. Papa's life was in disorder because he played recorder. And the recorder, it is clearly understood, is an ill wind that no one blows good. <laughs> I shall never forget the morning that Grandpa ate the awning to impress a pretty lady who went for men that were shady. <laughs> then my Uncle Josiah, that the great London fire, went off to be squire to the old Erie cow, which his <laughs> loving wife presented, and thereupon invented a rolling pin that strikes him and says, How? <laughs> and I'm the result of the twisted eugenics of this family of inbred schizophrenics. The end of a long, long line of bats. I even admire the Frenchman's hats. <laughs> I'm the Red Axola of the Ockham. The Ockham is a very tall, very small village on top of a very tall, very small mountain. When Rome fell, it naturally devolved upon the citizens of Leotham to take their rightful place as rulers of the known world. And so, in that spirit, I traveled and journeyed from place to place, collecting the tithes to the Red Naxalas of Leotham. Now, occasionally will amuse a lord to pretend that he has begged me for my witnesses and my jest. It saves him honor in front of his lady, does no harm, so I permit him this common little lie. Let me tell you a little bit about my birth. I was born at the age of 100. <laughs> this actually is not uncommon in the autumn. Everyone is born at the age of 100. A year later, they are 99. The year following, they are 98. And so on and so forth. This has contributed to our extremely long lifespan. Very few people die below for the age of five. <laughs> living to the age of 80 is not uncommon. <laughs> In fact, living to the age of 90 is considered to be a perfectly normal life. <laughs> oh, I'll admit it, almost everyone reaches the age of 95. I'm Renaxola the first. My father was Renaxola the zeroth. My grandfather Renaxola minus first. And so on and so forth. It is currently the third year of my father's reign. He likes to think of it as the 15th year of his reign, and let's not tell him, shall we? <laughs> now, being the youngest son, it will, of course, fall on me to the throne of Leochum. In Leochum, this is a very common and very intelligent procedure, for it encourages fertility among the noble classes, as it puts off the inevitable day when you will be downed by your offspring in pursuit of the throne. <laughs> Having reached the age where I could admire a fine edge, my father, not able to keep his back against the wall at all times, <laughs> decided that perhaps it was time for me to go out and learn something of the world. So I was sent, as you would expect, to a good, solid Viking camp. <laughs> My father believed in the age-old tradition, go north, young man, go north. Oh. <laughs> it was while I was in Viking camp that I learned a number of very important things about the world. The first thing I learned was, of course, about the Dark Horde, which likes to think of themselves as Mongols. In fact, they're Roman. Roman all over France, Roman all over France. <laughs> And I learned in Viking camp that all-important lesson about pillaging and burning. And that lesson, as you all should know, is... Pillage first, then burn. That they didn't teach me. <laughs> <laughs> they just said I should keep my tinder dry. <laughs> While I was in Viking camp, I, I invented a thing which is referred to affectionately as the bash bash joke. Uh, since you look like you're probably unfamiliar with it, disorganized, undereducated, insensitive rabble that you are, but my friends and loved ones all. <laughs> Perhaps it would help if I were to introduce you. You sort of look like a likely victim. This book's 
relatively painful. <laughs> you, subtlety is not particularly desirable in a Viking camp. So, if you'll follow my lead. Bash, bash! Your response is, who hit me? Who hit me? I know. I know who? I don't know how long I'm going to get away with this, but I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> bash, bash! Who hit me? Oma. Oma? Oh my god, my head's so hard it nearly dented the book. <laughs> bash, bash! <laughs> who hit me this time? <laughs> oh, no, no. Run a who? Run it for your life, they're catching on. <laughs> As a result of the fact that my wit was a little bit too subtle for the average Viking. <laughs> I was encouraged to go forth and seek other parts of my way in the world. I don't want to take them for advantage of time, so I'll leave for some future telling the story of my commercial ventures, my custom-tailored woad business. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just say I didn't pick the right enterprise. Oh. Enjoy. <laughs>